They've been racking up yards. They've had two wins uh, in the regular season. There was one loss in New England where I think they're still trying to figure out how to pull off that two-minute drill. It was a, quite a lot of a fire drill, and it's amazing to see how Andy Reid and the Chiefs are so crisp <clears throat> offensively right now with Mahomes and Hill and everybody else, and Willie McGinnis joining us right now for this conversation from Cleveland. Uh, the question is, what about tonight with these Chiefs and how they have performed so well, uh, Willie McGinnis? Will they have success still, as we've seen from the rest of the year that they've had against the league? I think their offense will have success. I mean, kind of like it's pick your poison. They have so many different ways they can hurt you. And when we've played against high-powered offenses like this in the past, the one thing we try to do is take away a couple things. And I, I think it starts with Kareem Hunt. He has some explosive plays against the Patriots. He had a big 58-yard run. Uh, they couldn't set the edge. He had his way in the run game. And then in the passing game, he had like a 78-yard touchdown reception. So they use him in multiple ways. Kareem Hunt is to what Lev Bell is to Pittsburgh, to what Kamara is to the Saints, and some of these other running backs are to their team. He's an explosive player. And when he gets going, the whole entire offense opens up, Rich. Yeah, and, and Willie, that's stopping him running the ball. But you got to stop Tyreek Hill in the big play. And, and, and I saw something this week. Now, I read something this week that blew my mind because, you know, the hooded one never gives out compliments the way he was giving out compliments to Patrick Mahomes. I mean, he right. was throwing them out. He said, hey, if they line up on a 20, we got to cover 80 yards of football field because the kid can throw the ball that far. I was like, what? <laughs> he's doing this? He never does this. So what does that tell me? He's going to make Mahomes play Tom Brady football. I'm going to make sure you got to just matriculate this thing down the field slowly with short passes. I'm not giving up the big play. That's what he's going to do no. to Patrick Mahomes, and I think they'll get away with that today. You know, we got to remember this is not last year's game, okay, where Chiefs put a 40-burger on him. Alex Smith was four right. touchdowns and no mind. picks, almost a perfect passer rating, right? And right. you got Kareem Hunt with 246 scrimmage yards. That's, that's probably not going to happen again, all right? Every game has its own story. But I will tell you this. I was in Kansas City yes, you watching were. them practice. <laughs> and, guys, I'm not kidding you. You know how a good, confident right. team practices, yeah. all right? With great energy, right. great tempo, sharp execution. I don't remember a ball hitting the ground with, with uh, Patrick Mahomes throwing it and slinging it around. It was a very impressive. I walked away going, wow, that this worries. team is explosive and they're ready to go. They're up for the challenge. And I believe that's one of the things that, that we've seen is we've seen them win games different ways with the big plays down the field. Kareem Hunt hasn't come into his own yet, but you talk about all these guys that they have and they can go to him and matriculating the ball down the field. That leads me to one guy that I believe is a difference maker for this team. And he's going up against the other best tight end in the league. A lot of people are saying, well, yeah. this guy may have taken over, but they do so many great things with Travis Kelsey. Put him outside one-on-one. -on -one. Watch this. One-handed snag. I mean, you get him with a safety or a linebacker out there, and he's a mismatch. Now, we're going to go four wides. So we force Travis Kelsey on a linebacker. We're going to give him a little choice route. Boom, stick outside, back to the inside, big play, run after the catch. And we're going to see it again here. We're going to play with them a little bit because we're going to focus on those other guys, right? It's Fremont coming out of the backfield or the fake jet sweep. Now we got a double move. He makes the big plays mm. down the field. This guy that is a bad, difference man. maker, too. And he can be a difference maker both down the field and underneath for Patrick Mahomes. They just got so many guys that you can use to beat you. It's going to be a tough challenge for New England. It is going to be a tough challenge, Kirk. And the other thing is when you speak about Patrick Mahomes, you got to lump him into the running game because when he gets out of the pocket, a lot of those explosive plays, he makes unorthodox throws down the field. He's, he's extremely accurate. And the Kelsey thing is interesting. When you watch Kelsey, a lot of times he has a huge cushion. Guys are not jamming him at the line. They're not vicing him or double teaming him. Jacksonville decided to take Tariq Hill out of the game. Okay, we're going to take away the explosive plays, but now you got to deal with Sammy Watkins. You got to deal with Kelsey. So Andy Reid is one of the best at finding matchups, playing that chess game. You take something away, he's got so many weapons, he's going to figure out how to hurt you with some of the other guys.